Don't do that. No, no, wait, hold on. Can I just clarify here? Yeah? Marvel's here last Tuesday, and then he's here today. No, no, no. You don't understand. But he squeezed, <laughs> he squeezed <laughs> Dubai Shoreditch. Bro, you don't understand. Somebody said to me, Marvin's in Dubai. I was like, Marvin was in Dubai. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, like, like, <laughs> Marvin was in Dubai yesterday. It's like, where? Yeah, when you told me like, to Marvin's be here, I said, yeah, like, are you not in the country? He's like, going to Dubai. <laughs> like, like, we go Shoreditch. I'm just, just saying. <laughs> What? This guy is moving. Because even man. the other day when it was Bro, Mo's birthday, McDonald's when you Dubai. messaged in the group and you said I'm in Dubai, I thought Mel was just throwing in some excuse because he didn't want to come. Le- I said to him today. Tara, when, oh, when no, it, was there still. But yeah, I, so I didn't know that until a few days ago. I, I said to him today, what time should I meet you there? I'm going to make my way soon. He goes, oh, I'm on the plane. I'm on a jet. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm on no, a plane. No, I'm back from Dubai. Marvelous, no. Hey, you posted McDonald's. I thought you was local, man. I was going to say, let me get a little piece. I was going is it recording? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm blessed. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll just cut it out. For example, so in regards to women's football, so this year, I feel like was like a turning point for women's football. Like, We're in 2023 now, you know? Oh, last year, yeah. 2022. Oh, yeah. when they won um, the Euro- yeah. Euros. So, Euros. So, yeah, I feel like that was a turning point yeah. as in because I've seen women's football before and I've seen like maybe like Arsenal playing someone or Tottenham playing and you might see like maybe 3,000 fans, 6,000 fans. Even, that's even in a good day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Whereas in terms of men's the men's game, most teams in the Premiership, for example, sold out stadiums like mm. every every Saturday, every Sunday, whatever cup game, even like a Carling Carling Cup, a cup Carabao game, Carabao Carabao yeah. Cup. There will still be enough people in the stand. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I feel like with women football, I've spoken to a lot of girls over the years, and I feel like even from school, like you can see the difference. As in, boys can't wait to do PE. Some girls when you get to the age and like. It's gonna mess up their hair, yeah. or they don't want to get sweaty. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas this summer, I saw like people get involved in the Euros. Even like the final in Wembley was sold out, innit? it? Yeah, it was mad. I was, I was actually one of the best atmospheres I've and, been to and, at Wembley. And they won the cup as well. And yeah. they said that that is making like more girls interested in the game and whatever. So, what's your what's your take on? There's been a massive change because I've got um, I've got two boys. And my oldest plays football, mm. and obviously when I'm taking the training, it's always all boys. But since the Euros. So many parents are bringing their little girls now. Seriously. So all the coaches are having to adapt to having girls in training sessions or they're doing one-to-ones. Like, within the last six months, two girls have come to one of the private coaches my son goes to to do one-to-ones. One's now at West Ham and another one's on trial at Arsenal. They're both, like, I think they're, like, 14 and something. That's sick. Yeah, but they've they've dedicated themselves to the game. They've been training, like, pretty much every day. And they're pretty much new to football. And the growth is mad. I think like, we're going to see a change, you know, in, like moving forward in what people are doing, mm. like how the, our, our parents saw changing us, yeah. becoming like YouTubers and content creators. Because if you think about it, yeah? Because I thought about this the other day, I was talking to my little brother about it, yeah? When we were bunking off school or not going yeah. college, no, listen, like, no. Nah, when we were going to school, <laughs> we. the, way, the way we were applying ourselves in school probably wasn't <clears throat> enough, what they saw at home, mm. wasn't enough for someone they thought was going to be a future doctor, lawyer or accountant. I'm saying, because we know we're doing media studies, maths, PE tomorrow. They're probably seeing us on MSN thinking, what the fuck are you lot, and you lot got MSN. something to read? <laughs> I'm saying, so to, to them, they're thinking, wait. You're going to be a failure. Uh, yeah, like, or, or maybe you got it in the bag. I don't know, but based on your performance at home, you don't look like the future lawyer. Then you wake up one day, 19, talking about, oh, I don't know what to do. They're mm. thinking, are you in? So I think now the, the shift we're going to see is that more women, girls, little girls are going to be more active, mm. especially with the football thing, because they don't have to see the, like the struggles that you lot went yeah. through in regards to oh we don't get paid as much mm-hmm. by the time they decide to kick ball it might be popping in the sense that yeah we rival the men yeah we ain't got to worry about what's going on over there do you know what I'm I saying? will be the biggest change as well because I don't know if you lot saw when um, the Linus has won the Euros obviously it was a big celebration but then there was a proportion of people saying why is the Linus team just all white Bar Nikita Paris and Demi, so like everyone was just white like just yeah. blonde and they made a big deal out of it but I think that's because of access like no, who's mm. bringing their young black daughter to training yeah, on, every, a, yeah, on a every, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all these nights, if it's not a viable career or whatever. But I feel like now, mm, that's a good shout. That's and good especially good. in London as guys, well. Like, yeah. well. I used to hear from people uh, the when they talk yeah, about their so parents, well. like their parents went on taking them to certain mm. places or being in certain places. So I think that then kind of limits eliminates access, you yeah. from, but, yeah, limits your access and but, you can't but, be in certain places because your parents won't take you. But it's mad though, because for as many black brothers that say that, 
the league is littered with black brothers. Yeah. No, because in the last so, 10 years no, or I'm, so. I, no, I'm just saying in terms yeah. of like, if you, look, if you look at the Chelsea yeah, Academy, like Arsenal of... Academy, like there's bare black youths. What I'm Pernas saying, because when I speak to Ant no, no, a lot so, of times, I'm, I'm he's out saying... with his son, he's both his sons at different football things or whatever. Mm. And the one thing he's like, it's fucking cold out here. He's long, and I remember man. one time we had a conversation about, I think, you know, he had more work to do so he couldn't be at more of his son's games. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know what I mean? I may be kind of uh, misrepresenting Perfect, this. Yeah. But um, yeah, like the less games he went to, he felt like it affected his son mm. in terms of his, how Confidence much he wanted to be involved with something. So <laughs> I feel like with a lot of parents, where a lot of parents, if you're not there, it affects your child's kind of yeah. want to be involved in something. And not only is it about being there, it's expensive, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like you're paying so many different coaches and so many, like you pay for me, for example, I pay for the football club that he plays for. Then I pay for extra sessions and then extra sessions for this. He wanted to develop yeah, them. He, and it's not only just, he wants to go see sessions. He sees that there's top coaches here, boys go off to academies here, I want to train here. Yeah. I want to train with the best. And these sessions ain't free. But, yeah. I think the, but I think the difference is as well, remember, growing up as a, as a boy or whatever, I saw a match of the day, I saw football. Mm. I wanted to be, I wanted to play football. I feel like... Oh yeah, that you saw it. Yeah, yeah. I saw it, whereas with women football, they're not, they're seeing it now. Yeah. But growing up, women weren't seeing that. So in terms of girls in general growing up, they weren't thinking, I want to be a footballer. Now, mm. because of the Euros and because of what's going on and they like, got the there's, new there's Sky more Sports like still. Sky Sports, you're yeah, seeing so it also, more. Yeah, clarify, girls are going to start that seeing it. Uh, sorry, that supports my point as well in regards to like girls our age weren't seeing that. Mm. Whereas the girls now, like my, me, I'm looking at, Mia will see that and think it's normal. Yeah, yeah. She's not going to question that. Yeah. Right, there was a time where this wasn't showing. It's like, oh, WSL. Oh, but Dad, was you watch that yeah. one. I watch this one. Or we watch it together. Whatever the but case I, may but be. I think it, but I think it's sorry to cut you up, keep. I think it's sport as well in general. I feel like more mm. women need to. I, I feel like sport is seen as a male thing mm. and fitness. Because remember, even if, if, if you look at a little boy and a little nice girl, to, mm. no, if you look at a little boy and a little girl, for example, growing up. They, the way they grow up is different. The little boy is running around the house. Mm. He's jumping down the banister. You need, you need to give him <laughs> something. Oh, you, little girls that do that. No, no, no. no, but, you, no, <laughs> no but you, you need to give him something to for that energy because it's, do you know what I'm saying? Whereas girls are trying to mimic adults. They're trying to have a tea party. Mm -hmm. They're trying to, do you know what I'm saying? It's very different how they grow up. <laughs> But it is, man. And but maybe, that's it for me. But no, for me, the word is mimic. So, so, so the word so, so, is mimic. So, so, that's what I'm saying. So, or is it just something they want to do? No, no, that's, that's my point about saying... Well, if he's mimic, then I'm copying someone no, else. That doesn't mean I want to do that. No, but you don't get what I'm saying. As in, like, that's why, like, if you if you speak to, like, a little boy and you speak to a little girl, you tend to have a different conversation with them both because it's like, the boys just tend to be a bit more, like, I want to play around. Like, I want to, like... No, you know I hear... No, no, I, no, the girl I, tends to be, like... You think, right, how old are you? No, no, no. I think, no. For me, I, I think men and saying. women. Wh whereas, Sorry, if, whereas you. if you've got older brothers, if, if that girl has got older brothers or brothers, she will develop differently in terms of she'll be maybe... More masculine. More, a bit more tomboyish, or she might be more likely to get involved in certain activities because her brothers were getting involved in it. Whereas if it's just a girl by herself and a boy by, by, a boy by themselves, the way they grow up is different. So I'm saying in terms of when girls grow up, they're... Attachment to activities no. is different. So I'm to gonna boys. throw out some wild, some wild well, ones. You know what I mean? Some of them well, might hit, some of them might not. Essentially, right? So when we think of sport, do you think men and women are more entertaining in different things? So when we talk about sport at a mainstream yeah. level, essentially. So when you think of the WNBA, essentially, it's not as entertaining as the NBA. I'm not sure if that's a controversial take or whatever. It's just not, and that's and I can base that on the numbers of people that go and watch mm. the games, essentially. Mm. And I think from what I've, I don't watch either, yeah. but from what I've kind of, you know, seen in terms of what people say, you know, there's not as much dunking in the games. It's not as fast paced, which is why a lot of people Love aren't NBA. as interested, essentially. Mm. And based on, and, and I say that because <laughs> there was this um, channel on YouTube and he was, going around interviewing people about the WNBA. And a lot of people were really passionate about their viewpoints on the WNBA, essentially. And then he asked them to name five players. Mm. Nobody could name five players. Right. And he was like, name five teams. Nobody could name five teams. And it even got to a point where he was like, where does this person, what team does this person play for, whatever. And they were standing outside the stadium, the person plays for, and there was a coach or whatever, and there was a statue of the person with the person's oh name. God. And people had no idea because they weren't interested. Well, they got statues. In, it's crazy. Oh, That's right. no, 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 no,
right? If you were to, because Serena said it herself, if Serena was like, if she was to play some of the men, she wouldn't even be top 150. She said it like she's oh, like, like that. 150 though. She yeah, said, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She said it. Literally, like if Serena was to play, there's men that are number 150 on the list of men mm. that would beat her. Do you know, you know what I mean? Like, no, that, that would whitewash her. No, 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 but the but thing is that... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to cut you off. But Serena is more entertaining than most of them. Mm. So you think about it. When you watch Serena, I don't care that those guys that are, you know, are better than Serena. She's more entertaining. Yeah, but does that and mean- I prefer to watch Serena. So think about it. When you watch the top 10 men and the mm. top 10 women or whatever, Serena and them, they are entertaining in the like not even in their own way. She's literally world class. The- essentially. Yeah. But- so like I said, it's a whole different ball game, but she's world class. So do you feel like in certain fields where some people are just entertaining in certain things. But okay, okay, no, okay Keith, I can but, see that then. But, but Keith, oh, I, I feel like, but I feel like Nunes is more entertaining. Oh, we're not. Nunes, man. Nunes, Nunes, man. 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 Navaratilova, Steffi Graf from mm-hmm. like 70s, 80s, you know what I'm saying? So tennis has progressed where women have seen um, tennis stars. And also remember, tennis is about money as well. Also, you, know, you see me, you so, see me. So one sec, tennis is about money. Like, so when you're going to Wimbledon in these places, parents with money give their kids private tennis lessons after school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the suburbs, man don't get that. <laughs> so you're not seeing many girls from okay. the hood yeah, or yeah, yeah. in certain areas playing tennis. Whereas with football, it hasn't been the Premier League hasn't been around since the seventies for women. No, well, it was banned for a hundred years. That, that's what so I'm yeah, saying. So, 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 so women haven't seen it to grow up and Wait, be like. Okay, I'll use an example of something. I'll use an example of something that's yeah. new as well. Them? Women's UFC. Women's UFC is very new. You know what I mean? In terms Popular, of the UFC, the UFC in general is mm. new. Essentially, it's not that old. Women's UFC essentially is pretty new as well, but that's entertaining mm. in itself and people love that. So people Marvin, getting beat up. But no, it is. But all I'm saying is when something is entertaining, people are drawn to it, mm. essentially. Yeah, that's, the product's got to be good. Do you know what I mean? And that's where it is. And I feel like that's what happens with, with people sometimes. So I feel like you will find that a lot of people will campaign for things they won't even watch. There's no way mm. you're going to tell me that I should be participating in something or I should be watching something you don't watch. So that's why when you were talking about watching football, I, women's football, I love that. Because you're one of the few people I know that will campaign for something yeah. and actually watch it. Where you can, where we can sit there and you can name. I was like, at this game, at that game, at yeah, that game. Yeah. Some people, you can tell them, name two players. And they couldn't tell you so you're like so you're out here talking about this should be here but you've not been to no games so how is it going to be here yeah. you don't even have no I, I, interest in it so I'm how is it going to be here and you know I ask people when was the last time you bought a jersey uh, uh, you know what no, I mean football shirt, football shirt. When, no because I'm talking NBA, <laughs> WNBA that's where I was yeah, coming no, there, there was a guy in Australia that said the same thing and there was like a, a panel of women and they were like oh, in terms of the um, Australian men's football team they get paid more than the women mm. so the women were like oh it's disgusting like why they're not getting paid the same as the dudes, whatever. And the dude there was like, but the football doesn't create as much revenue as the men's game. Like, so the men's game creates revenue, shirt sales, whatever, whatever. That's why mm. they're earning what they're earning. The women's game obviously is is starting growing, up, yeah. but you can't just say because you're both playing football, you should both earn the same amount. Now, if they make it to the final, the girls will get five and a half thousand dollars each. The blokes will get $69,000 each. Each! Each! How can anyone justify this item? They can't. No. I I mean, the gender... I beg your pardon. I can justify it. How? Why? Well, I I tell you what, stars don't get paid more money because, uh, I mean, you, a sport doesn't become interesting because the stars are paid more money. Stars get paid more money because the sport is interesting. Let me ask you this. How many of you guys on the panel know who our Australian Matildas are playing in the quarterfinals? No, because you don't care about it. Now, if you cared about it... I do it, if they win. No, no, but that's the thing. They beat do you know what? All of you can go and watch W League uh, games in the women's competition here, but you don't. Now, when you start to go and watch these women play the wonderful football they do, then they'll earn more money. The other thing, let me ask you this about sports equality. The top ten fastest men of all time in terms of sprinters 
are all black, of African or, uh, origin. Are you telling me that the white guy should say, hold on, we should be paid just as much as the black guys for sprinting? No, because they're not as fast. No, whoever wins gets the most. Yeah, well, that's it. Do you know what? There is not, but, one, there is not one team in the Women's World Cup that could beat a junior male side in the A-League. So what? So they're not as good. Well, they're well, playing no women. Sense. What? Maybe, maybe no, but, them. But, but why? <laughs> but, but to me, it comes down to simply a matter of inequity. It's not... I mean, women are not paid the same amount of money as blokes in so many professions, and I think we need to pay women more in sport, in all sorts of different jobs. Well, and, regardless and, of whether the product's as good. But, but they are top of their game, so why aren't they paid because the top it's... dollar for being top of their game? They're and top of the mindset. Let's talk about tennis. Okay, tennis, the, the pay dis discrepancy in world tennis is not as great as other sports. So at Wimbledon... Until, there's about... But only recently. Yeah, that's right. But the, the reason being is because the product that the female tennis players are offering is good. Because in male tennis, it's serve, volley, ace, double foul. Whereas women's tennis is more about rallies. It's better to watch. And that's why it's paid more. But, the only reason we're talking about the Matildas today is not because of their achievements on the field, but because of a gender pay discrepancy. Therefore, it's not the sport you're interested in, but the injustice. We were talking about it. You were, we were all talking about it on the panel. Do you know we showed that make clip. a good point. Who can, can you name five players from the team? I can't. But I'm not a soccer fan. That still doesn't mean I can't stand up for women to be paid the same amount as blokes. Women's football is fantastic in this country, but unless you support it, you can't expect it to be paid as much as the blokes. Let's look at the as Keith said, the after women. Do me a favor, name me um some of the players in the Australian women's football team. No one could name wow. them. He was like, All right, how many of you have been to um, Australian women's games? None of them. He's gone, but see, you are the problem. He's like, you are complaining, whatever. If everyone here went to a game, if everyone here bought a jersey, the the it, will it would accelerate faster, but it's like you don't want to talk about the comparisons and the equality in the football game, mm. but you're not doing anything. It's like me as a dude, I'm going to the game. I know the players. Yeah. I participate. Do you know what I'm saying? I used to do the same thing though. Obviously I've always worked in men's football. I've always worked in women's football as well, but yeah. like people know me more for men's football because obviously it's bigger. Yeah. But now I used to always encourage or expect everyone who watches the Premier League to also so like if you're an Arsenal fan, yeah, yeah. I would expect you to watch the Arsenal women's game because yeah, yeah. it's, it's all Arsenal. But it wasn't no one would do that because well not no one, but it wasn't a thing that people would say, Yeah, I'm naturally gonna watch women's game because they wasn't interested. And I stopped doing that because I realised it's a whole different audience. Yeah. It's gonna build its own audience and then once you know, audiences are built. Then maybe the play the people that do watch the men's football will come over and watch it. You can't force them. So how's it going it. now, though, in, in regards to growth wise? Because like you said, so there's been much. yeah, these, when I used to go to Bournemouth, Meadow Park, even when I was going to um, um, the Hive, like the, the crowd was small. Only for big games you'll get a bigger crowd, like Arsenal v Chelsea, um, and then other teams have newly into W so like Manchester United, only been like three years or something. So it's now we're getting oh, right. yeah, they only became professional about three or four years ago. So now we're getting like bigger games. And Man United are getting bigger. I, I went to Old Trafford to watch Manchester United women against Aston Villa. Can't remember the number of people, but I'm sure it was like 40,000. There was bare people oh, there. Sick. Yeah, like... No, it's sick, And, and you know what's sick. dope? I think with, with some of the women's football games, I think it becomes a bit more inclusive for families. I know yeah, it sounds yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so it like does, my, But my, people hate saying that. My goddaughter, <laughs> she plays football on a Sunday. Their team took their whole... Their coach took their whole team. Because mm. I think that's what the, during the summers, that's what the, yeah, during during the Euros, Euros as well, yeah. They were giving tickets out to like women. Um, were they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, like some women football, not women, some kids football teams, like Black all girls ones, and stuff. Yeah. They were getting tickets to like certain games. There was a, so when I, there was a program on Sky or BBC that was like, took the whole, like the whole experience of the Euros. It was mm. like behind the scenes. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I was in his house, she was like, oh, that game, that's what you, that's a game we went to the football team. So I feel like with women's football, I feel like a lot of dads or mums are going to take their daughters mm. to, it's like a nice entry into Good football. It's, like, yeah. it's not too... Um, rowdy. Rowdy. Not, you know that like when you go to certain men's games. Oh, it's changing now. Though. It's, <laughs> it's swearing. No, it's, and, like it's changing. Because before, there will be no, there will be no nothing. There will, be, there will even be fans mixed together. Yeah. You would see Arsenal and Spurs fans sitting together. Yeah. Arsenal. The other day... Um, Guru Wright and played Chelsea went to go take a corner where obviously there's all Arsenal fans at Emirates. Pure booze. I loved it. I loved it because you'll never get that That's before. I loved it. You know? You'll never get that before. They'll, they'll be that clapping them shit. like, oh yeah, look, they were booing them. When Spurs played at Emirates, they were all, everyone was booing them. 
The Navies have that in the women's game. Yeah, but the I thing can is, ask a question. But the thing is, you say you want you want that, yeah. But did you see my man kick um, Ramsdale? The other yeah, day? but like, that's too far. The what are you doing? What's he doing? The Arsenal keeper. You want to go and buy the gloves, whatever. Man, how's he not been arrested yet? They found him. Yes, they have. Have you seen the? Okay, they found him. They said no arrest me. How can you not find him? Okay, they found him. But but have you seen the camera that follows him through the crowd? No. They're gonna find out who he is. They, they, there's one camera that zooms Tays, in on you know him they will. and watches yeah, him. Yeah, but why have they not stopped him? Why didn't you know, they stop at the top of the stairs? No, they will. Because remember, the, t- 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 the thing we watched with the basketball. Remember, where they were. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you, that's something. If you've not seen that, what was it called again? Malice in the Palace. Malice in the Palace. Yeah. What's his, it, okay, it's on... Um, it's, it's a, a documentary it's on an NBA. Fight, an NBA fight. Oh, okay. but, that, but that fight changed loads of rules that people adhere to now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it's insane. When you watch it, where literally they followed, like they caught the fans, like they caught the person. Like they... They followed, you know, when I say person by person, there's, they even traced it to the person who started it by throwing something. So Mm. they traced it all the way to say, if you hadn't done this, this wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen. So little things like that, where they're like, so Mm. all of this ends up with you, because if you hadn't done this action, this wouldn't happen. I watched the video, yeah. Because Gilbert Arenas, remember when he's, is it Gilbert Arenas where he jumps in? And no, is it Stephen Jackson? No, yeah, yeah, and it's Stephen Jackson. But, but, But also the football team, they're all black guys, isn't it? The way they all dealt with they all, the way they all got dealt with after by who NBA NBA oh it's ridiculous they fought fans Jesus they jumped yeah, yeah, they, yeah, like, they were swinging like yeah. it was proper like fans like, were now, getting dragged out now what they'll say snuffed. is like they'll just drag you off in it that you can't fight back if you fight yeah, back yeah. it's a big penalty but these men were swinging and some people's careers just <laughs> like, weren't the same yeah they weren't the same after the yeah that was a big fight people are mad you know I mean? um, another thing in terms of um, I wanted to speak of in terms of women's football which is I guess something you might have. Um, kind of caught up with the the American the US team mm. remember so I'm not sure if you lot have seen what's going on with that um, where so basically um, when they talk not the revenue conversation mm. where they're like the women's team is better than the men's team and when I say better it's, they say better because they have more wins mm. than the men's US team so people are like the women's US team deserves more money mm. than the men's US team but the men's US team competes in competitions that have more money yeah, than so the women's US team. The women got paid out from a pool of 30 million dollars from the women's world cup. The men would draw from a pool of $400 million, okay? $400 million, $30 million. Why is that? It's because the Men's World Cup generates $6 billion in revenue. Mm -hmm. The Women's World Cup generates $131 million in revenue. If you want to talk about pay disparity, the Women's World Cup players get paid out 20% of the total revenue. The men get paid out 7%. As a percentage point, they are getting much more. The problem is, for anybody desiring equal pay, and by the way, I think equal pay is a ridiculous concept in and of itself. If the women generate more revenue, they should get paid more than the men. Don't strive for getting the same. Strive for getting what you're worth. And if you're worth more, then get more. So if you look at, so they had a diagram of how much money they bring in. So in terms of the total revenue, the men's team brings in 97.5%. Mm. of the revenue the women's team brings in 2.5 percent <laughs> but they split it 50 50. Yeah, are they so still split 50 50? they have to split it 50 50. so literally when the men the u.s men's team went to the world cup recently they made so whatever number they came they got paid 13 mil for their appearance they didn't make out the group did they no but literally no, they did, but, they, I think oh. they did. so but even it's what England and the u.s no but that's a national hey. thing though yeah. but even oh. look, wherever they ended up which which on the grand scheme of things isn't that high they amassed 13 mil Mm. They came back to the US there to give the women's team six and a half million. No, but I- No, but I get that though because that's inter- no. no, 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 that's international. A lot so? of them, a lot of them don't take the international money home, do they? 
What do you mean? International, as in, um, when you say men's football team, you're talking about international Yeah, the men's, yeah. yeah, the USA men's team. What are you talking about, kids? The national team. Yeah. yeah but what Both are you saying? Them, the men's and women's USA national teams. Yeah, but even here, like... Do, do, um, yes, you get paid. When I'm you're... not saying you don't get paid. I'm saying, but do they not give away their pee? No, no some of them can to charity. Some people oh. do. They give it to charity, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah but you don't have to take it. I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying you have to, but I'm saying I don't think the footballers... The men's... Over here, I feel like footballers in Europe are probably more willing to give up because yeah. oh, they, yeah. they make so much money yeah, elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. If so you're like, this is, like, is you know what I mean, we weren't see, making... Yeah. They don't see their contribution as an uh, as an uh, international player mm. as something that, to make money, is what I'm saying. No, but oh, get, but for the US but, women's team, that's that's... That's the big cake right there. US yeah. women's team. Yeah, because they, they weren't making everything. that much yeah. money from oh, anywhere. Oh, yeah. They, so my yeah, question yeah, was yeah, like, right. so they're right, US women are taking theirs home. Yeah, yeah but, that's not, but that's not fair though. <laughs> no, I know, I know. But I, I, if it's a thing, I'm just saying that if it's a thing, it's a thing, isn't it? But why is it a thing? Is it a thing? Because no. people that might like, be why you signed up. Like from the beginning. No, but what I'm trying to say to you is it, what, what, if like, if, if from, if from the beginning so when you're stab- the men's team, huh? you're saying it's not fair to the men's team. No, it's I'm, not fair. But what I'm, I'm saying I'm, is, yeah, because if, if I've gone to the World Cup and I've earned 13 million mm-hmm. for us playing the World Cup, you ain't played in the World Cup. No, but no, no but they Marv, played Marv, this Marv, their World no, Cup, but and Marv, their World Cup didn't no, generate no, that much Keith, income. What I'm yeah. saying is, Marv, you would have initially signed up and been told this is your feet. No, it's, it's changed. You don't no, get, no, they changed. No, 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 changed. They took them to court and then they get changed. Oh, you're talking about the women. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's not based on appearance. So no, so. So that's why it's a point of contention, essentially, because it's something where they took the men's team to court, essentially, and they... So you remember, equal pay, equal pay. Yeah, and it's crazy that? because what they then found out when they looked through everything, essentially, they found that the per game, when they did the maths, you know, when they do the mm. maths per game, the women were making more money than mm-hmm. the men. Yeah, of course, I, I've been to some of them US women national... I went to the Women's World Cup, and even at the games USA weren't playing, USA fans were there. And at the final, when they won... 95% of the stadium was USA fans. Who were they playing? Uh, Netherlands. But it wasn't USA even in the competition? Yeah, USA won. They won it, they won it what, four they years in a row or something yeah, like that? Yeah. Oh, they're, but just, you they're know, just good. So, what, yeah. so basically what the, so what the conversation people were having was, right, is if you win a competition that no one's interested in, do you deserve the same money that other people are interested in? No, but my, my thing is this. At the end of the day, I feel like if, there's a, if, if the USA say, listen, we're one nation, so whatever we earn... Collectively, mm. we put in one pot and split it. I, f- I can hear I, that. I, I, I'm, no, no, but, but I, think, I thought that's what it was. I'm fine with that conversation. Mm. But if there's been a structure in place where we earn a certain amount and we get our money from that, and you earn a certain amount and get your money from that, why are we now joining pots? Because, because they that, weren't that making no money. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also, as well, I, get it I, now. I, I remember the whole thing as well was, for example, the, the USA men's team, for example, if a man's injured for USA men's team but doesn't get picked, mm. he doesn't get paid. Is it? No, he doesn't get paid because if you're injured, you don't yeah. get paid. Whereas on the women's team, if you didn't get play, if you didn't get picked, you got paid. No, if, so they yeah, if, so they if, have if, a if, if you're on maternity, yeah, yeah, if you're okay. on maternity leave, you still get paid. Mm. If so you, they get dental. So, oh, was, so the structure for women is sick. Then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, that's but they what, fought for that. That's what, no, no, no. No, no, they no, were getting that already. That's what, that's what people oh, are saying. Yeah, the structure for women was already like that. But the problem was because they were seeing what the men, basically the men, the competitions they were in just had more money. They were seeing what the men were doing. They were like, nah, it's we want equality, we want equal pay. But then when they broke it down, they were like, but you don't get paid more than the men per game because you don't get paid whether you play it or, or not. not. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I think the guys were like, if you get, if you play an international, you get a certain amount. If you come as a substitute, you get less. If you don't oh, start, if you no, don't start it, no, a game, you get less. Game. And if you don't play, and if you, and if you don't, if you don't play, you don't get no money. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I them, whether, you, whether you're on the bench, twenty-two thing, players. Is it twenty-two or whatever? Marvin. So they had um, 20, 22 or twenty-five. Whatever, what, the the, you know what I mean. Sometimes the squad. Changes. The squad. Yeah. So they had um, a set flat fee for the whole team, all you know what I mean with the um, subs, everything. So they had a set fat flat fee. Mm. So literally, they play, they get paid. No, they've they got to get play. paid something. You can't travel away for a whole month or whatever it is and not get. No, paid. no, the men they no, don't the get. That's don't, crazy. I didn't no. know that. No, yeah. they don't get. You don't get paid all the time. So that's why. Well, you when, so when they calculate something, all, 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 nothing. All the time. You just cover your expense. We cover your expenses. What expenses? No, if it's you travel, well. this, this, no, whatever. But, yeah, but they, oh, sorry. They'll yeah, pay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plane you get on, you don't pay for. The hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I should expect. That. Remember, yeah, that's like brother. Like a car will pick up from your house. Yeah, that's normal. You don't pay for anything, but but you don't get paid. But for example, when you play, you get paid. But why it was more offensive for the men's team, right? Sorry to cut you off. Is because people would talk about the women's team is better than the men's team. Right, based but on more wins, more wins, right? But the women's team, 
also got battered, I think, by the... I think it was yeah, the I heard his 15s or something or like that. Fifteens. So that's why you're like, it's offensive to me, and you're like, you're good where you are. But why are they playing against teenage boys? It's not the same. Why are you mixing that's water a, that's water a man, like? That's a man that thought, you know, let's, let's trial it. You lot can't be under 16s. But it's not the same. No, I'm saying that, that, that's see, how that, you're that, looking but at But that's a conversation, and that's great that you said... Because if you put under 16s, women don't want to have... With the men's... They get they're not winning. Of course not. No, well, I, I don't expect them to, to be but honest. People don't want to have that no, conversation. But, but I, th- I, think what, I think my thing is this. I feel like the women's game is the women's game. Mm-hmm. And it's growing. And it's great that it's growing. And it's good that the women won the Euros in the UK last mm. year. Okay. England, because now that's going to... The scene's going to explode. And you've seen what it's done this year. But my thing is, it's a problem because... There's people, there's people like yourself that are in the scene. That's why I even brought you on as well because I think it's important for people to see people like you that you're doing well with your presenting. You're mm. in a man space, in inverted commas, but you're Still navigating thing, it yeah. as a woman, and you're in a women's space trying to um, put spotlight onto that space. Mm. But the problem is, it's not women like you. It's women that are just trying to be divisive and just be like the men's games. This. We should, it's like, but you're not even watching the game. You're not um, trying to it, like, champion the game. You're, yeah. you're, 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 you're just on this equality thing. But why, I'm not saying not why, because it, there should be equal, but you have to look at all the factors involved in mm. the process. Yeah, Tigo said something on, he went on um, HC pod with Chucky. Yeah? Yeah. And he, I watched it today. It's a fucking great episode. Yeah. But he said something that was interesting. He said he's been in the game for time, innit? But he was like, um, a lot of you fans, Say your fans, yeah, of these people. Like he was talking about um, the times where, like, talent have basically been going through like um, a situation where they've kind of got cancelled mm. because of like the content that they put out. Yeah, yeah. So talking about that, but he's saying the fans were trying to cancel Chunks. He said, do you know, how, do you know who Chunks is? Like one of the nicest guys. Like it's stupid because you fans who are talking in inverted commas, you only support when your talent that you support puts out something for free. Yeah. Mm. Technically, care you a fan. Because when it's time to buy it's merch true. or buy tickets or it's go true. and support, you're not there. Because that's, that's what that's, that's what, what makes really me, matters. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's in, how you not support. in the grand scheme like, of things, that's, that's what, what really matters. matters. Like, yeah. You're just a silent voice. Because like, you can't complain about somebody not earning as much as somebody else when you don't contribute or financially. Or trying to destroy mm. you know what Because if you're earning. saying, I've been buying tops, you know what I mean? Nah. I, I bought a hundred of this person's um, football know. shirts yeah. over this amount of time and he's broke. I am fuming. I'd hear it because you're like, <laughs> why have I been buying all of these things that this even, person has no money? But if you ain't bought nothing, you have no right then, to say anything. And even, um, I can't remember when England won the Euros, I think I must have put on my story or something. And I was like, oh, dope, well done to the women or something like that. Or I think I put them lifting a the cup or something. And then um, I had girls messaging me saying. Oh, sorry, that, the man that, has been charged, by the way, for the assault. Who? A man charged with oh, assault for the assault and Arsenal player. Ah, yeah. uh, they got him. Then, then, Thank I got, you, bro. Then, then I had loads of women messaging me saying, the women's team is way better than the men's team. We've what? won, we've won, we've won something. Yeah, but he's, I guarantee you the people I, that are saying I'm that don't even like, watch the game. Allow me, man. I'm like because the thing is again, like I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna bite. But then that's when you can, you're gonna get some people biting. It's like mm. you can't compare the competitions though. The World Cup. Just celebrate the win, like, man. Just, exactly, just celebrate the win. You sort of done your thing, dope. Like no, but no, let, but let but many that, more. But that's people that don't watch football. But and, no, and, there's people that even watch football and are in the women's spaces that were wearing t-shirts saying the girl them did what the man them couldn't do, which I get it. It's banter, ha ha. But it's like, bro, just celebrate the win. Well, like, we're we, Messi we, we've dreamed of, we've dreamed of moments like this. Just celebrate. Why, Messi, why are you worried about what the men are doing? The men are. We should be worried about what the men are doing. But that's. But that's. But don't want to. But let's not bite. Man them. Let's not bite. Let, no, but let's not buy it. Let's not buy and, it. And that's what I'm and saying. And you know why yeah. I thought it was so distasteful, yeah? And I never say these things in, in these because it's a very sensitive space, like in being in certain co- like communities. But in my head, I was thinking maybe it's because I'm part of both in it, mm. men and women football. But I was thinking the men literally played at Wembley last year in a final in the same competition in the men's version. They didn't make it, and you're and you're making t-shirts like that. Mm. Again, it's rude. It's, you don't need mm. to do it. Yeah, that is you don't true. need to that do it because literally, like they were this close. Yeah, we were close. It's not like it's not like they got out in the group stages or kicked out in the quarter. Like they were disclosed. A random and people and, and it goes back to what we were saying earlier, where people that can't even kick a ball will go out there and say they're shit. Mm. You know it's crazy because, like I said, for me from the outside with Gemini when he's losing his mind because he's a man new fan. Sometimes I'm up. To, I told you the way our house is is set up over four floors. I'd be downstairs and he's at right here him shouting. I'm like, brother, what's going on here? Nah, it's man, you lose it. I was like, <laughs> chill, nah, it's like relax. Because you know what? You know what? I was, I, game, I was watching. <laughs> I was because you know Bro, he was shouting the other day. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the fuck is going on in this cause house? Because you, you know I've been watching documentaries recently. I've been watching Bearing it just about random stuff. Yeah. So for me. 
that um, Arsenal Tottenham game the other day was like a moment in a documentary. That is Mad, going to it? be a moment in documentary. I wish they filmed what? it this season, man. Because it's going to be the like. Kick. No, everything. everything. The whole game. Why? Because you, you know, like when you watch documentaries from like how Barca became the greats and mm. it was like about seven years ago. One day they're going to do one. They're, doc- they're going to document Arsenal season if they moment. win the league. Yeah? yeah. And that game is going to be a moment, is what I'm saying, because it's but Tottenham. I, you honestly, beef. I honestly wish that Partey's volley went in. Oh, oh that was oh crazy. My yeah, gosh. yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, but that would have been, been goal of the season. Oh, and, you, my and just gosh. so mad, he's I, been, been trying that shot, you know. <laughs> no, no, the funny he's thing is, that that that, was the you know. volley. He, he scores the curlers. I've seen him score the curl yeah. in that top corner, but that one, yeah. It was a rocket. The way he hit it as well was that, brother, he's like, he sliced it and he just went, but I've never seen a ball, well, I, maybe not, not never, but bro, it went so straight and mm. so quick. I said, yeah. right, it just went yeah. ping. That would have been a moment. I swear. Like, that was a sick game. And do you know why it was sick as well? Because you saw Conte change his tactics and try because mm-hmm. Arsenal kind of sat back and Tottenham were getting, they, they were trying, they were trying, they were trying. But the maddest thing, they didn't even, they didn't even no. change their um, tactics. No, nah, the way they play, they changed. No, nah, they came out with the same team in the second half. Yeah, remember, they, they, they were like, the they're going to give it like 10 minutes and Tottenham, as soon as they came out second half, it's like a different team. No, but they changed, they, they took off. Um... That was like after 70 minutes yeah, or 75 sure. minutes, bro. Time. No, but the way they play still changed though. No, nah, they, they played the same. It was the same formation, same team. Uh-huh. But, but the thing is, they were just, on oh, remember wait. Arsenal were just a bit more complete. Second half were two 0 up. Mm. Is what it is. We're, we're thinking it's going to be the same game. Tottenham. That's why they said Merson said the first fifteen minutes is key. As in, like if Arsenal concede in the first fifteen minutes, Tottenham Changed believe. If Arsenal score, it's game done. And but they didn't score. But Tottenham were on. I wouldn't let they were on Arsenal. Mm. Ramsdale, Ramsdale saved us a few times. Yeah, yeah he was good, man. He's in my team, by the way. My, my is it? I took him year. out a few weeks ago. I should have put him back no, in for that I knew, one. I left no, him. but the matter thing is, Ramsdale bought Mitrovic. This guy, yeah. dickhead, double foot. Oh yeah, my god! Penalty, it's the penalty, Mister. Human. You know, the <laughs> thing about keepers, yeah, on that fantasy football thing, you would think that like Edison. The, the, the best keeper is Pope at Newcastle. Yeah? Yeah, because, yeah, because you know, he saves. I guess, I guess, I guess you always get me my points. You'll never it's, believe. It's, it's not clear. Raya and Raya. Not, oh, I haven't used him. It's not, not, not clean sheets. For who? For Nottingham Forest. He gets me mad no, points. No, because... Henderson they, second. They, yeah, because yeah, he, he gets, gets some, me yeah, mad points. Yeah, because lots of saves. So lots of let me tell you something as well. It's nothing to do with clean sheets. But he's playing against strikers like Do you know when Arsenal signed Ramsdale and everyone was getting on to him saying, why are you signing this guy? I was like, bruv, I've had him in my fancy team when he was at Sun. Where was he? Sheffield or wherever he was. I think Sheffield United. He, he always got me points. Nah, I, said, I said, I he's believe cold. in him. He's, he's going to be good. I believe in him. Oh, ra- um, random, random. I was going to say, oh, what was I going to say again? Fantasy football. No, there was something else I was going to say. Oh my God. I'm not sure if we spoke about this. It's, it might be totally random yet, yeah, but I'm very, very, very offended by this because I took about two hours, maybe an hour and a half out of my day to watch this. What is it? Black Adam. You said you said you said you oh, were watching it. About you that. said it was garbage, brother. No, no, no. I said I saw some of the clips. I watched the whole film, brother. Have you watched it? Yeah. The film is terrible. Tell you don't agree. No, no. You Marvin, have you good. seen it? No, I ain't seen it. Marvin, please. I didn't say there, no, for the first time, I can say please watch it. No, I, you know I, when you I, watch I, a I film. Said, I said action films. You this is in the when, when you watch it, you, I don't watch it for storyline like that. I just watch it for the. No, no, no. With this one, but I've started to realize that DC. I know this way out. DC. You know when you're like, you lot are cutting corners. Because you you know how Marvel introduced us. Like when Marvel do a film with like five people, five heroes in it, they'll introduce us to them over years. They'll take the time. Brother, I was watching this and I was thinking, who the fuck is this? So there was Hawkman in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, who the fuck is the that? Black Brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Black Brother. There was um, um, Atom Smasher. Atom Smasher's nephew, actually. You know what I mean? The, the new nigga was like, who the hell is that? There was the wind girl. Tell you, who's the wind girl again? You know the black girl does the wind controlling. You're dumb. You know, those you know who characters. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but the random, I don't, so I don't remember. Doctor, Doctor, so Doctor the other one, the fake Doctor yeah, the Strange. Rock. The fake Doctor Strange. So or Piers Morgan. Yeah, no, not, not Piers Morgan. Piers, Piers Brosnan. Brosnan. So what you're, so you're basically saying there was no intro to the to Brother, the nothing. Like when you watch it, even when you when you get the villain and in a story, you're like, when you see a villain or, an, so this remember, this is an origin movie. Brother, we had n- like there's no explanation as to why he does what he does in the sense where he just came out and he put hands on everyone. The Rock was putting hands on everything, bro. The whole movie was The Rock putting hands on the villains, The Rock putting hands on the heroes, The Rock going away, coming back, putting the hands on. I was like, but I don't know why. There's no motivation. And even the villain, like, you know, when you look at a villain, you're like, this is why this person wants to do this, 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 this. This brother, you're like halfway, through, not even halfway through. You know what I mean? A few way through, like he's the villain. We don't know why he's the villain. He turns into a villain. And you're telling me the CGI on that was good, Taser. 
No, bro. Bro, you turned into some big red demon, yeah? It's worse than, remember Justice League? Not the Zack Snyder one. The Joss Whedon one. Oh, mm. the... Um, Steppen, what, Steppenwolf. I don't know the, the name, but I know what you're talking about. The first bro, do you know who he turns into? He turns into a weird version of Hellboy, man. Brother, he turns like, into it. No, Marvin, if you watch seen, it... Have you seen Black Adam? I told you, I don't watch nothing. Do not. Oh. Like I said, <laughs> if you ever want to, you know what I mean, go and watch the WNBA. You haven't instead. really recommended Take that money oh, okay. and go watch the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm betting you say your money. You know what I mean? 100%. Because, bro, Marvin, it did make no sense. So that's what I wanted to throw in because I actually, because you know me, sometimes I complain about things I haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. I went and dedicated an hour 45 minutes of my time hey, and quick, I want it back. Quick gonna, segue. Before oh. we segue, yeah. Um, I was watching, cause I've seen Avatar 2 in it. Oh, we spoke about it last week. No, nah, I know, but I watched. I went to watch an interview of um, the director just talking about the movie. You know, in the beginning when he was thinking about it, yeah, obviously to um, bring big people, as in like name brands. He went to Matt Damon. I said, "I'll give you ten percent of box office if you're if you come on board." Come on board to do what then? Be an actor in Avatar. Be the main guy. Oh. Matt Damon said, "No, I'm working on Bourne." Is that right? Cool. No, he, but, when he, he but saw he does what regret Avatar it. No, 1 he, done, yeah, no, he, he said, does regret oh, it. Oh, my oh, okay. no, He knew he what Avatar rich. would do. It's just that Projection, the film though. he did didn't do well. So uh, it's one of those ones where you're like, I know what your thing's going to do. All right. I think yeah, my film... Because remember with the Bourne yeah, thing, yeah. He, had, <laughs> he had production <laughs> credits. Yo! He had production credits for the Bourne film. But what's production credits and what's 10%? Exactly, but no, but I don't think he's. But no, no, no. But I think he thought it was gonna do well. No, but boom. But but I feel. Do you know what it is? I feel like in life, because remember, there's three bones in it. There's gonna no, be five episodes. There's long of them, bro. You're, you, the bone you're forgetting is the one. No, with, there's five um, bones. There's five. Oh my five. god, I think I've watched. Forget- no, he's not in all of them. No, he, he's only there's one he's not in, and that's the one with uh, Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah. So, so five, that's why. That's why. Yeah. So the one. So it went. Yeah. He, did, about one, he did. He yeah, did. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've watched them. So he did they're three. Good, no, good. you ain't seen all of them because you ain't seen the there's one five. with the Hawkeye because that one was garbage. All oh, right. There's five of them. Have you seen five? Seen, so there I've was three Marvel. So you remember oh, okay. the first three? Yeah. Ultimate. And then there was yeah, the yeah. Hawkeye supremacy I identity. One, I there's Jason Bourne. Yep. And then there's the fifth one that you talking about. No, no. The the Hawkeye one is the fourth one. But I think the fifth one. I think the Bourne. I think maybe he was just filming it. That's why I think a lot. Even with Marvel, a lot of the actors were saying that. The issue with Marvel is that once you sign up for Marvel... You have to be on standby forever. You're like, it's like 10 years worth of films. Mm, so if yeah. you've got another film to do... Mm. And it's difficult. So, and someone else comes in and says, I want you to act in this film. You can't. You might not be able to do it because you might that's have to look strange. a particular yeah, way a for the, a role. Mm. Or yeah. so That's why a lot of them say that... And if you, halfway through, you're like, I don't want to do this no more. You can't because you're tied in on a contract. Mm. It's kind of like doing free shorts. We're doing free shorts for however many years. And then someone says, hey, Marv, come and do this. And you're like, nah, I'm going to do free shorts. And then we have a terrible season, and it's moving over there. And you're looking at us and thinking, "I spent this time with you, <laughs> fuck niggas." When I could have been out there getting paid, I will still do that. No, no, 100%. If someone comes over and says, "Do that," I'm doing that. As long as it doesn't mess with a Tuesday, and there's no, a, but we, obviously in movies it probably does. That's no, what, that's what I'm pointing oh, yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. But ten percent of Avatar, like now, I don't know what that means. The, the director now oh, is you like, know, hey, you know I wish Avatar done like billions. How Wait. many billions? How many? Uh, so far, well, last time I checked, it's one point seven. One's, oh, one's okay. enough. Yeah, it's true. It's for true. Ten percent. One's it's enough. True. So for context, the first one that came out how many years ago? Ten years ago? Yeah, two thousand and nine, I think. Yeah, so that was in uni. Oh, what's the big hype about Avatar? By it the way? did three point two get three point two billion over time. The way so it looks. This the story's one. deep, but he said that there's four more. He's given us one, so that's the fire one. three more. The next one's the yeah, fire with the fire three people. More. And um. Obviously, when he ad- approached Matt Damon, it would have been for like the whole five, oh. I guess. Mad thing. I, th- yeah. I, th- I think in the third one, the water Mexicans are going to make an appearance. <laughs> in that one. No, that's li- no, it's the fire Mexicans. No, no, no. In the, it's the fire Mexicans, actually. Have You're you seen actually Avatar? right, Marvin. Brent, uh, have you seen Avatar? Yeah. What do you have think you? of it? Yeah. Have you seen Avatar? No. Have you? No, I'm, I couldn't find it. All right, Brent, Brent. You couldn't find it. Oh. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I you didn't see, have time to go there's, cinema. There's one That's scene, what I it's not, it can't be a spoiler. There's a new one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see the scene where, where the sky people came yeah. and they landed. Did that hurt you? Did it hurt me? Yeah, as in like, did you feel emotional? That wasn't the best scene yet. But did you feel, <laughs> it was, wasn't it not emotional? <laughs> no, you know what I mean, man. But the scene, wasn't it not emotional? Oh, I'm going to ask both of you because you nah, asked him better times, man. No, because you've both seen it, right? Why are you forcing an answer out? No, no, no. When you watch it, you'll see. It's because you've both seen it, right? Ben's like, no. Did it make you feel emotional? No, no. No. Because you've both seen it, right? The conversation that I've seen that's been happening online is a lot of people were offended by the fact that there were white people playing the indigenous blue people. Did you guys feel any kind of way about it? White so basically people. people were like, you know what I mean? This is based on some kind of people, even though they're blue, 
and they were played by white people, so a lot of people were offended. And I was like, us as black people have a lot of issues. Are you people are gonna be offended by some blue people? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, no, no, are you upset about some see, blue motherfuckers? I, I see what they're saying still. I see what they're saying, but that's that's a reach, man. That's a reach. No, okay, but literally, but how bro. Can you see what I, I can't see what you're saying because that- It don't make sense. These are not, you CGI, bruv. Bro, yeah, they're, still they're people, blue. But it's Taser. CGI, they are bro. Blue. Like it's not even. What like, does that mean? Aren't they like you're, seven you're, foot tall? I, I, if, that's, if that's the case, then for example, no, the people playing them. Cool, but if that's the case, yeah. Then whenever someone acts as an alcoholic in a film, get a real alcoholic to be that person. When someone's in a wheelchair, let that person be a real person. You're not gonna do that because when it's acting, it's acting. You that's that's the whole point. Of acting, you get a role and you do it. So just because it's indigenous people doesn't mean it needs to be acted out by indigenous people. No, I'm not talking about that. Because it's an acting role. No, that's I'm like not football, talk- like Benny Lab Beckham. I'm not talking about that. All the people in Benny Lab Beckham weren't actually real footballers. They, some of them might have been, but the point is, I want you to act. We can do the rest. Mm. That's like someone saying you should be real women footballers. Brother, it's no, acting. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, well, I'm not. Wait, is no, that take, the take, argument take, you're talking about? No, my argument is. No, no. Let's take. No, no, no. What was their argument again? What? No, you agreed. No, no. Keep, keep. You no, agreed with it. You, yes. what, what did you think it was? Is your argument that is your argument that the characters that were playing the people that are blue are white? white. Yes. Yeah. And so people were saying it's offensive. Keith, don't save him. I want him to. I want to hear no, wait, what you agree with. No way. Offensive to who? You agreed with it. Wait, but how do you know they're offensive white? Are they not covered in blue? No, the, like as in the actors. No, but the actors, the so the actual oh. actors. Offended, so offensive so to who? Why are you looking for to them? the? I don't know. I, apparently, it's based on some indigenous tribe. Or something, but you agreed. So people are saying this. It's but that's what I'm, saying, I'm asking him to develop what he's saying. But you bro. agreed. So if you didn't know what, if you tell him to <laughs> develop, why did you agree with something? Because then? I'm saying I. What? The way I took it was, are they offended? Are they offended that the people that are playing the blue people yeah. are white? As in, like the cast is not diverse enough. Is what I'm arguing. That's yes. That's what he's saying. Okay, and then I'm saying that the reason why I hear what no, they're, they're not saying, saying but it's diverse reach. enough. They're saying they are appropriate it's basically cultural appropriation. Okay, the reason why I'm saying I agree with what they're saying, but it's a reach here, is because when the characters. Um, are playing um, the avatar, they still look like the characters. But they're blue taste. They're, no, and it's not about being blue. And they're not and, a people. And, they're, not, they're, like, oh, they're not from anywhere. They're Wait. blue and seven foot tall. Wait, it's not, no, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, for example, if, if we became avatars, they would yeah. look like us. Uh, they'll have our features. Facially, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that even though they're blue, they're still white. Brother. They don't They're exist. Blue. No, you're not listening to what I'm saying. If, 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 if it was Nigeria. I thought, I thought the film was CGI. No, yeah. I, I get it's CGI, but they're still using your face. Right. So, so the character is whoever the character is, but it's you, your face. So now this, this character is a blue another, version of you. another Nunes. Yeah, I'm no, bad. no, it's not another version of Nunes. If they had an avatar in Nigeria, the avatars would still look Yoruba. Is what I'm saying. No, but my point is, no, my that's what I'm saying. Avatar, the avatars are based on who? The characters themselves. And who are the characters? Whoever's the cast. No, avatars. No, that, no the avatars actually look like the cast. You, you, know, you, don't get what what you don't get what I'm saying. It doesn't matter who the avatars look like. The avatars do not exist. They have been created. They're no, not real this, people. So, who, so if they look no. like whoever they are, it doesn't matter. It does. So how? Because the characters that they they're forming in the movie are they used to be human. Is what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying, bro. No, the new one. They took the old army from that were humans and made avatars out of them, brother. But, it's like me making an avatar of you. It's going to look but, like but, you. But I'm saying, but who is offended by That's blue why I said it's a people reach. That's that I don't said. exist it's a in real life? No, It's 2023, bro. No, Everything's Marv, offensive. It's a reach. Brother. No, it's a reach. And that's it. No, I get what they're saying, though. They're saying, rah, if you don't went to... If, you, if I went to um, Australia right now, and then I made avatars out of the people that live in Australia, they're not going to look like Sally from Shoreditch. Is what I'm saying. Brother. Do, do, do you get like it? Sally. <laughs> You're... T- <laughs> They're not going to look like Sally from Shoreditch, is what I'm saying, or um, Amanda, white girls from, do you know what I'm saying? So I get what they're saying, but it's still a reach because it's just an avatar, it's blue people, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I don't get anything because, as I said, if it was like, for example, Marvel, when they were in Lagos, they like called Goose, it Lagos. Like <laughs> and they were in the market, and all the people in the I market were Moroccan. Say, so I'm and saying, it was all people in the market were no, Moroccan. No, I'm saying, but all the people in the market were not black, for example. And they were like white would people. Would you point it out? No, I'm, no, I'm saying this but that's Kobe, of course. But, 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 but I would hear that because I'm like, I get what you're saying because the yeah. reference point is this is being shot in Nigeria, apparently, and the people in the market do not look Nigerian or not even black. For, cool. For, in terms of Avatar, brother, these are blue people that do not exist. Our reference to Avatar is what? They look like people from Algeria. They look like people from Cameroon. <laughs> we don't know what they look like. The water so people, Mexicans. So people getting offended that the cast is white. <laughs> And, and blue, the abat- like indigenous people. What are you talking about? Because indigenous blue people. This, these people, this, this, these characters were created by 
what's his name, Sutton Cameron, what's his name? James Cameron. James Cameron. They never existed before. So how are you telling the director? No, but I think people say this based should... on some tribe or some Where? indigenous you know what I'm people. Saying? Yeah. Nah, hey. the research is deep, you know. <laughs> it's deep. Anyway, I was gonna say um just to round up as well, um, if people wanted to get their daughters involved in football or if anything that people could like, I don't know, to watch games or I don't know if any That's a tough question. Where can people oh, find you so they can ask you these questions? I feel like, no, no, I, literally I no. I don't know if you want that. Still. No, no, I feel like there's a lot of, you know, no, no, there's no, a lot of mums no, that, 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 so, so that's so if you're interested. So, so inbox can get flooded. Yeah, but I want, I want the inbox to get flooded. I'm so bad at messages, you know. Yeah, I want, I want, and, I want and, to and see and if it works. And then they're going to start saying, see what I'm saying? She's rude, she's not even. Not even, they may not even, you know what I mean? It's not even just the inbox, you people, where people can find you. Because, like I said, this is probably stuff you put out on your content. As a content creator, you tell people you can watch what I do. And I give these tips there. So, literally, where can they find you? Where they can find this information? Before she does that, though. Even if they don't directly DM you. Tell us what it is. Don't DM her directly. I wish I could tell. I don't even know what I do. I hate people asking this shit. Tell them your certified bad man. Oh, bad, bad girl. Sorry. Like, I just, I've always created content. I've no idea. You know what I mean? Avatar. People that you're, the people that you agree with. Oh, Nunez. 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 Yes. Well, and, uh, I know. Yeah. Was it was it, was it prison so <laughs> was it the L no, one? No, girls. so it one of them ones. Where the jail one? Yeah. Well, you watch your bad girls, Keith. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, it's not bad girls. No, no. I know which show you're talking about. No, 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 no. When I agreed with you, I didn't get what, the bad back girls. No, 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 no. You watch bad girls. I'm sorry, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. Bad girls club is the American one. No, not bad girls club. It was a show on ITV. Like I know it's in the jail. Footballers' wives. Yeah. Oh, footballers' wives. I'm talking about jail show. No, yeah, the jail one. Keith, you watch them shows. I had the blue kid. I did Man, this is all these shows. This is what you're watching in your spare time. And that's but a good show. Back What's the nice thing? Like? <laughs> bro, that's a good story. Like. No, nah, because <laughs> keep, keep get on to man about watching certain shows. About no, watching. no, back in no the I get on to After man about bill. watching terrible shows. Exactly. Right, you don't on. know. You ain't watched this shit. No, but tell go him, on. Tell him it's lit. It's lit, man. There we go. No, 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 I was going to say, Axel was the girl that played the Nigerian woman. <laughs> oh, right. That Axel was horrible. For context, what Marvin was complaining about Avengers in the market in Lagos, yeah? Brother... I watched that today, yeah. as in a couple hours ago, yeah? Brother, there was this high-tech building in the mar- in the middle of the market. <laughs> and I was like, they really fucking with us right now, <laughs> bro. I was like, there's no way there's this high-tech, like, you know where the, the, where the whole Sokovia course thing starts and then um, Scarlet Witch mashes up the yeah, building? Yeah, yeah. And I was looking at it and I'm like, that's a nice-ass building. And that's in the middle of the market. And we're supposed to believe that. In Lagos. Telling you, bro. If we go back, there's a lot of Easter eggs that we're going to be like, what's... what's Brother, I watched, it, nah, but, nah, but, I watched it for that same reason and I was like, you lot nah, but to be fair, when I got my, my NIN number in Nigeria the other day, not the other day, last year, and I went to the MTM building, there was like other buildings. I can't lie to you, bro. Some of the buildings that I saw... No, no, no. The buildings were, are nice, but no, it's not in the middle of the market. The, I can't lie. But, they weren't too far, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's kind of, bro, when you, when they you were selling some, goats by the door. No, but when you see certain buildings in Nigeria and you see like where it is, you're like... You know, like for example, in the UK, you might see an estate. You might go to like Waterloo, mm. or you might go to um, Chancery Lane or certain areas, and it's like this part is nice. Then there's an estate right at the back. You're thinking this estate's kind of dangerous as well. But anyway, um, let us know what you, where they can find you, what you do, or describe best what you do. Maybe the best way to describe it. I've always like created content around football, yeah. so mainly Arsenal because I'm an Arsenal fan. But like. I got into it to get into presenting. So I started a YouTube channel talking about the game, match reviews, previews, interviewing players and people involved in the game. Um, I currently have a podcast with my son where we talk to young players um, about their journeys, but with their parents. So they get like both sides of the story. But yeah, I'm on socials, Pippa Monique. That's my name. That's oh, sick, man. And you're and you're you're AFTV as well, right? I haven't been with them for a while, you know. Oh, for a long time. But that's where I started out. AFTV is where most people know me from. That was like the platform that put me on. Oh, yeah, I've got a question, by the way. Um, it's actually a question. When Mar told me that you were coming, just for you to sh- just share your experience here, who are the unsung heroes in AFT? Like, from what we can't see... I what do you say, mean? I, I thought you could say the unsung heroes in women's football. I was like, who, what's important for how NF, um, NFT, you know? AFT is running, that what we can't see. Like, it could be like a particular cameraman, a producer, someone who helps um, you connect with the strike, the players better... Like, who's mm-hmm. someone that's like, Rob, for this to work? I think he's, I think basically what he's saying is that, for example, we only see Robbie 
Yeah, but and that is we, the guy we, though. I know, so but, it's all but, Robbie. But I'm thinking, but I think he's saying there might no, be someone. No, that's to discredit everyone else. Um, yeah, there might be people. There must be, the there must be someone else for, for 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 that kind of um channel to work in regards to the space that it's in. Yeah, who's someone that's important that we don't My see? That man's important as well. The light skin brother with the Cecil. Is it Cecil? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I see. These are the people does... you see though. But behind the scenes, there's like there's the scenes, like producers like, you know, like... that make things tick and yeah. make sure everyone's in the right place at the right time for different because. Obviously, they've got the studios now where where they where they've got people that can actually produce shows regularly. That wasn't a thing before, yeah, yeah. so that's all down to from what I see, Brennan and oh my God, I'm up forgetting people's names. Was Lumax? Is it Lumax? Yeah, Lumos Lumos. was a big, Lumos. big, but he hasn't been part yeah. of it for years. Yeah, Tigo, like, Tigo yeah. talks about Lumos as well. Yeah, Lumos. Lumos is um apparently he's a serious guy still. That's the guy to know, man. Sure. He's the plug. Yeah, Lumos. Make everything tick. No, 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 but 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 like, let's not boost up Lumos too tough. Why? Oh, I mean, I watch his story sometimes. Sometimes he's a Lumos, man. yeah. He's a man, I can't lie. Bro, one time on his story, the guy was stranded <laughs> somewhere in, in a random place, and he's just on his story, just chatting. But like, he's cool though. He's he not, he not going to get out of your situation, but he's cool. He's just he's just reporting what he's doing. And there's one time he was in a bedroom, don't panic, sleeping, and so I think someone just walked in. But you're in a public space sleeping, <laughs> and someone just randomly walked in, and you didn't panic. I yeah, remember in short at that time when we come at the studio there was when we were doing like yeah, and it was just there. Baker Street or whatever and then me, Margs and Taylor talking Wait, outside. He just walked past like out of nowhere. Baker, Baker Street. Uh, Quaker Street. Oh, that yeah. sounds like, like Baker Street. So as we're talking this is like one in the morning. He just you walked know? out of nowhere. You <laughs> must have just walked down the road. No, I swear you used to work in the office. How long ago was that? <laughs> no, this is, like, it ago. wasn't in the office bro. Oh. This was li literally like no, she said no, if you see where the studio was. If you see where the studio was. He used to work in a job where the office was like central and he used to leave the office mad hours. No, nah, well maybe. Yeah, but, but where he, this, now, this was like where, the that, of, where Quaker Street ain't near the This was like the back of Shoreditch, the back of Shoreditch, like Shoreditch High Street, yeah. And then, because I just saw someone walking, so I'm talking, talking, I'm looking, who's that? But ain't that where Ray Nephew is or no? No. Oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Right now. I don't know where Rainer. Right Unless Rainer right is in the blocks over there, because remember, Quaker Street Studios opposite their blocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but and, and it's just, it's oh, kind of like where just... where Petticoat Lane is and um towards Shoreditch. He's just so he just walked and I was, I was like, yo, Lumos. Did he was like he was just looking in there. Oh, what's good? Then he came over, spoke, and he just went off. But it's just like there was no one else around. It's not like he was with a group. It was a busy random. Road, yeah. He was just by himself. Lumos, Lumos is like that. If, if I watch his story now, he might just say he's, he's just he's doing something he was, random. He was in the airport, Jamaica, like, man. He was in the airport last time, innit? Like just on. I don't know. He was in the he airport. And he just... came from somewhere, airport wise, just to come carnival and cut. I no, think... he stayed for a bit, man. No, do you remember when he he, he was stranded somewhere because he could he didn't have a key to go back oh, in? Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that story. He didn't someone let him go down. back in, or so, someone. He like, landed straight weird. from Jamaica, went straight to Carnival, dropped his bag somewhere straight. To yeah, Carnival. and then when he went to go back to get his bag, the person went like in or something. <laughs> yeah, like, it was he, lives, he lives life on the edge, bro. <laughs> you know, if, if, I love it. And if we did, and you know, if we were speaking at airports, I think wherever Marvin goes, they should follow him with a camera. Because Marvin this, this is Marvin. no 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 no, it's not even banter. Marvin is one of the most entertaining people ever. Because when you catch Marvin in his element, yeah, Taser, remember Barca? It was a Barca. No, it was a Barca Croatia. I went Barca, there, Croatia. It was Croatia. You, it was, you and it was a Barca where he ate from the airport. No no no, where um, yeah, the sandwich was delicious. Where these people were trying to. So these people tried to cut the line because they were talking <laughs> oh. about their fight is late. Marvin was like, absolutely not. So wherever they went, Marvin went. Mm. Marvin was like, you look, cut the queue here, I'll cut the queue too. Oh, hey, wow. they, Marvin hey. got to the front as quickly as they did. Oh, Marvin was like, you, know you look and cut it. I, I was with Taser and Keith. I left it behind, you know. I to Marvin, hey. Marvin left because he was like, they were Marvin behind. said. No, but when you got a connecting flight, it's not a joke. You no, know, no, no, no. But with us, no, but I, no, no. But I, we weren't on no connecting flights. We weren't that early. No, he was. We weren't in a rush. Marvin just said, you're not. No, we weren't in a rush. We weren't in a rush. Marvin was like, you're just not going past me. I don't get to the airport early, so we weren't they're like mad early. We but, but, you uh, must but, remember this point. Uh, Marvin Keith. was like, you guys can get to the front quickly if you like, so am I. Uh, Keith, listen to this, <laughs> listen to this. So, similar story here, but this happened to us the other day. So we got on a train. We were coming back from Leicester. Yeah. Come back from Leicester, yeah? But, uh, what do I do you, now? You know, when, you know when the train is so busy, yeah? Man are sitting on their backpacks opposite the toilet. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. That's how busy this, this train is. But mom's was like, but we just walked past VIP. Let's go VIP yeah, first taste. class, first class. So first class, sorry. But so did you have a ticket for first class? No. Didn't we do that on one no. of our journeys? We went first class here. We sat down. I said, are you sure? Goes, Why are we sitting now? The woman came. goes, can we have your tickets, please? So now nah, we ain't got no tickets. We're sitting in first class. She's like, you can't sit here. He's like, so where do you want me to sit? She's like, if you go, he said, no, don't say if I go. Look there. <laughs> Everyone's stuck in from, from the door. So don't tell me, go. you know it's busy there. I'm chilling. She's like, well, I'm not going to be able to serve everyone else the first class treatment because you're in first class. Mom's like. How is that my problem? You know, man's adjusted his jacket and he's, yeah, what? he didn't move. 
And then some girls tried they to... They made me move, you know, one time. No, 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 no. They were making Marvin move. And no. then some girls tried to leave. And I looked at her like, why are you leaving? You might no, as well just I had sit to down. give Marvin, because remember one time, one He tour. did not budge. The woman nah. just... The woman oh, no. made the next part I of the carriage um, first class. No, the woman, the, 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 the woman said, the woman said, uh, this part of the carriage is not, it's first, not first class, class anymore. anymore. <laughs> and then she went to the people next to her saying, sorry, this is not first class anymore. If you want to go to the other first class, you can move. The people looked at him like, okay. But my thing is, because no, the issue was we we were on a train already. It got cancelled oh, at a certain place. That's, pla- that's why it's ram like that. So we've so we've got off that train and then the next train was ram. So me and Taser on the train. I'm looking. I'm thinking this is like an hour twenty minute journey. I'm not. You think I'm, I'm standing, 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 think I'm standing for an hour twenty minutes? Yeah. And VIPs. Um, sorry, first class is empty. So I've gone yeah. into. So Luckily, the, I, the train was almost empty. I'm, she told us to move. Slowly. I'm seeing bare people. I'm like, what? So I've gone into first class now. I've seen two seats. I said, Taser, sit down, man. I've sat down. The woman's gone. Hi, have you got any tickets? I've gone. No, nah, I ain't got a ticket for first class. She got. Oh, you can't sit here. Then I said, I'm not gonna lie. The, it's packed <laughs> over there. I'm, and it was and I, packed like, but I, when I say to the entrance of first class, yeah, people are imagine. just sitting anywhere. I, and I'm not, so said, it was packed, she and knew. I, and I said, I'm not standing for an hour 20, so I'm sitting here. Then she went, ah, oh, whatever, whatever. I said, yeah, cool. Then some other girls are walking. I said, I don't know why you're moving. Like, sit down because there's no space over there. This Martin's is, uh, ignorance uh, does have its perks. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and I, no, 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 no. There's, there's a story to it. So, one time on tour, remember when we did that tour where we mostly caught the train? Marvin made us miss bad trains, but there was one. <laughs> That's Marvin a lie. Was, what train did I make you miss? Brent. No. Was Brent? No, I don't think. I didn't make you miss Brent, no, no train. Brent was on one train where we just got on the train. Do you remember Brent? Marvin, you remember that tour, Brent, where we caught, yeah. where we mostly caught the train, and Marvin kept making us. No, miss the I didn't make you miss any trains. Marvin, 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 I'm going to tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. No, but you man never waited for me. You man jumped on the train, and that's after the first one. No, I'm telling you, the first one you made us miss the train, and you went and so we got tickets. No, no, let me tell you. I made you miss bare trains. That's the first one. No, 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 no. You definitely made No, no, you made us miss. But you ain't letting me finish right, cool, the story. Cool, cool. I'm trying oh, to pick like, you up here. Right, cool, I'm trying to pick. Let me know if it was like. I'm trying to big man up and man's out here trying to cut me off. I'm trying to big man up and he's cutting me off. So, so, so like I'll up away then. So true. Marvin is gone out there. So literally, we missed the train. So Mar- we ended up with regular tickets or whatever because we missed the first trip. Marvin went and speech the man, and we still ended up in the VIP. You remember, you ended up speaking to it was little Eritrean man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the ticket man. Oh, and Robin speech him. And we ended up in the VIP store. Because we had the VIP tickets, but they got cancelled, not cancelled, yeah, but because yeah. we missed the train, they've given us the regular tickets. Yeah, Marvin went out there, had a little conversation with the band, and we still ended up in VIP. So that's why I said, Mar- Marvin, do have the big talk. Energy, you know what I mean? He went out there and told man, we're not going to wherever you want to send us to. We're sitting in here. I don't know what was said, because me and Taser and Brent were sitting. And uh, me and Taser and Brett were sitting there um, with the bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no, 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 I remember that. I remember that. I remember, 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 yeah. remember, remember, remember. Yeah, because no, we were there, because we were supposed to be going to the regular, you know, we were going Gen Pop. And Marvin was like, we're not going Gen Pop. Not Gen Pop. Marvin said, we're not going. Marvin said, we're not going Gen Pop. I said, leave this to me. He speaks the man. We ended up no, in I VIP. Think, I think it was another train. I think I think that the train. No, we missed our train. No, we missed our train, but I think the train, are, I think our train after wasn't the ticket. It was like yeah. the train after that. And yeah. I was like, nah, nah. So I went to the guy, I was like, ah, oh, the train robber. He said, oh, yeah, let's jump on. Uh, did you know that there's a, there's a feat, not a feature, but there's an option to, um, when you buy a ticket for like um, a country that flies to like, Heathrow. Mm-hmm. You know, like you can go on a Heathrow air- airport website and buy Q Jump. Did you not know that? No, what do you, what do you mean? What? Brother, we were at Sweden the other day, yeah? And then my brother is just like, when we get to passport, he just bops to the front. I'm like, what? The whole queue just bops to the front. So when we were going, he did it. I'm like, big man, what are you doing? Like, he's like, well, do you know that on Heathrow, on the actual, if you go to like the airport's website, you can buy a Q Jump for like seven pounds. Never and you that. skipped the whole passport queue. I said, what? So I tried it. I bought my ticket in Sweden for when I come back. But when he, well, obviously, because I saw him, I, I made sure I went to the right link, whatever. But he didn't tell all the man them. So but why are you putting everyone on game now, though? I don't care. Oh, okay. It's seven pound. It's gonna it's gonna <laughs> give the airline P. But um, and it's limited. There's only a certain amount that they oh, okay, yeah, okay. give anyway. So when he put it in a group chat, I bought it as we were about to board. Whereas all the other man them didn't see the chat until we got back. But then you can't buy it once you've landed. Uh, yeah. So you so have to it, buy it before. Yeah. Uh. Got to be, you got to prepare for it. Brother, man skipped past the passport. Okay, I thought, let me try it now. Bro, if you saw how much people I skipped here, 
Because they're all like, wait. Yeah, but didn't no one say, excuse me? Yeah, but like, are you walking past until you get to the front? No, until you get to the front. And then the woman looks at you. You know, like when you scan your passport. But are you doing like, excuse me, excuse me? No, there's a whole new queue. You just don't see. Remember, there's the priority queue. Yeah, but it's no one joined, bub. No one was Because you don't join the priority queue because you're not priority. So I'm gone, but it's far. But when you get round, you are at the front. So I showed her. So I'm scanning my passport. She's like, hold on, let me see your priority. I said, yeah, I know about the hustle. I showed her. She's like, okay. Scan my passport. I cut through. I had to wait another hour for the mandem. So I, 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 I the, so the, what was the point? <laughs> no, I know. But what I'm saying is, if, if, if you had all if done put, it, yeah, it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like Miles didn't do it, so he was chilling. No, what? Can, bro, I, I, you know I, when I you just, go through passport I, I control, get, I just can, get special assistance, blood. And just put yeah, me you know, you know when you have little kids as well, they, you can do that. But a lot of parents don't know that. And just put me on the wheelchair. When you say little kids, how little is little? Like four, under four, five. Oh, I stopped telling me as you are, boy. Brother, I just I tell you when I go when I go there, brother. Yeah, I just say listen. But I think technically under twelve, I think that's illegal though. It's not illegal because I've got an injury. What all injury? Taser. It's frowned upon. It ain't illegal. No, no, my knee's going to say knees. My Achilles. My Achilles. It's like Achilles' knees. <laughs> <laughs> my Achilles tendon still. Hey. Do you know, it depends on what airports there are. Certain airports that it's better. Like when you go to Dubai, like it's better. Oh, cause, yeah. VIP. Because it's just like, nah, and then it's just the airport's so big, so they just pick you up and they just take you there you know what I'm saying hey, so, not no, easy no, 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 Qatar airport, no, airport is stunning yeah. but I ain't gonna lie sometimes oh, no, World Cup. Yeah. That's, oh. oh yeah you went to the World Cup innit yeah. Yeah. how long did you go for I just went for the final I went through that airport Oh, so you, airport. Just, you just went for the final. Yeah, yeah. How was it? How was the final? Because remember, we saw it on TV. Yeah. And we saw like obviously the best oh, final of all time. It was, honestly, what was it like I watched that and I enjoyed it. It was the longest day because they told you you have the app in it, told you to get there early, don't miss the ceremony and all that. So the atmosphere was mad. People were in there from early, from like four thirty for us because the game was like six pm. So people were there, there from for like hours. three. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. I wasn't even hospitality. Like, normal seats behind the goal, but like which goal? A, uh, the goal where every goal went in. Uh, where Messi scored a penalty, where, 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 where so basically the yeah, good goal, the good goal. So, I just, I, I didn't figure that. I just obviously one missed goal the, the penalty shootout. Oh. Penalty shootout was the other side though. Uh, oh. I was yeah. gonna say yeah, that's another thing because I haven't spoken to Vuj yet. But what's the hospitality saying? Do you think I was hospitality? I, I paid for myself to go out there. No, as in oh, like serious? being in yeah. Qatar. No, I'm, I'm, I'm I think what it takes means hey, the treatment. I'm saying the treatment as in being oh, in the, being in amazing. Qatar. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Do you know I was out? Like I went there by myself, but obviously I'm linked up people out there. I was out till like 5, 6 a.m. every day. The day, night before the final, I got home at 6 a.m. and I had to wake up a few hours later to get ready for the final. So all the propaganda we're seeing on like people were living in shit. It was mad conditions. safe. Mad safe. Mad safe. Then. I was even out in nightclubs, turning up, drinking shisha. What music were they playing there? Every, I thought I was in London. What, hip-hop or they were just playing like the... Hip-hop, Afro beats, the, oh. trap, rap, everything. I am telling you, See, no, we had, it's crazy because we had this conversation and was I think it was Taser he was talking about. He's seen the videos, there's propaganda out there and no, so on. Because we were all seeing bro. certain videos out there. I know, you know my people, whole family was worried for me, you know, but I said, it's not harm. Because we all saw... No, it's facts. Because okay, we can, all okay. saw certain content based, here. Yeah. Based on your experience here, yeah, can you see other global... Like events being hosted in Qatar. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they they won, man. They won. Like man. everyone, no, bro, everyone was thing. hospitable. No, they won, they Every, won. All the local communities, like obviously, I went to all the tourist places, but then I went to like places that were kind of off the grid. Like one time, I was mad hungry after a night out, found some little spots at four a.m. that are just off the grid. Like, but it was calm. Everyone was so nice. That's what I was gonna say. I just remember. Sorry, sorry. My brother says she went to Dubai for five days, and it was random. She done a U basically, so went to Dubai. And then spent time in Dubai. So I'm thinking she's still in Dubai. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, how's Dubai? So I'm back. I'm like, huh? Like, she's like yeah. She, yeah she I was so, in and out. And she was like, do you know what's so mad? I was like, what? She's like, I only spent two bills. I'm like, how? What part uh, of see. Dubai did no, you No, you can't. I don't know what she means, though. No, wait. Huh? No, wait. She filmed where she oh, stayed. Oh, sorry. Everything was cheap, you know? No, no, no. She filmed where she stayed. Yeah. She done me. She gave me a 360 view. Yeah. One side was turn up. The other side. Dust desert. Oh my. Do you know where she was staying, bro? Brother, she was staying where, you know where the migrant workers work, uh, live? That's where she was staying. She got her hotel for cheap. But she said she's never been to Dubai, so she she didn't think anything of it. Mm. Like but my the car, I sent you. Remember when I sent yeah, you my bridges? The car was just driving and driving, and she's <laughs> like, hey, man, where's this? <laughs> But it was like a 20 minute drive. Oh. But she just like, it was just driving. No, it takes a little 20 minutes. I remember you, you look, see, I I'm these. not even exaggerating. No, it. Oh, maybe. I showed these man in Dubai, <laughs> my bridge and so, literally so, when I've never been to Dubai. Mm. So I, my view of Dubai, I base it on 
my friends that go Dubai. So I've seen the Dubai that these men go to, and then I saw the Dubai that my other brothers go to. Yeah. And I messaged Tays, I was like, this don't look like we <laughs> that were. I was like, no, I've seen some things. Like, there's people going to Dubai here, but they're staying in like, my it, brethren said he ain't seen... So when he was out there, he was like, he ain't seen no Lambos. That's like, nigga, what the fuck are you? Right, let, me give, let me give you an example, yeah. So when you look at people going to Dubai, where in London would you say it associates Dubai? Like Mayfair? Yeah, Kent and Mayfair. Part Lane and all yeah. that. So if you see someone say they're in Dubai, but then they snap Hackney. Hey, what part of Dubai is that? <laughs> where is that? No, where is that for real? No, we, we don't know that it exists, but no, but it exists though. That's why it's funny. It legit exists. Like you'll drive and you're like... Nah, I ain't going down there. Nah. Like, I only know the base spots in Dubai. Nah, Obviously, there's the, a post the, the I want to show you. Bro, 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 bro. Remember, did you come to destination? You came to destination Dubai last year, innit? I mean, last, the first, last time we went. The second year you lot second went. Year we went. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, you know that whole strip's changed? What strip? Oh, um, the, um, Brother, where the five is. Is it? Oh, oh yeah, I swear. Brother, the whole strip has changed. So remember, on that... Remember like when we used to drive down and you had to go down to go and come back up. Yeah, yeah, come back round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember on that strip, the only thing there was the five, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now there's a, a a massive Hilton. Oh, I swear. And next to it, a massive Marriott. So why is the why is it only Mad. the five that people still go to? Because it's the five the only place that has the pool with shisha at the back. No, nah, but the thing about the five, the five is like when you think about Dubai as a tourist, that's what you see. Their promo sick. Five, mm. they've got like but you know the, what's the, so the mad? penthouse, they've got remember the clubs, whereas but like, when you go back, you'll see, yeah, the hotels next door are just as it's no, 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 nice, there's, yeah. b- no, just as big. There's no, but bare hotels no, but right like next, that. No, on the same strip as oh, in, they've, they've like, clocked. No, like, but do you know they probably clocked other. location wise? Because it's on the beach as well at the back and you can get yeah, the sky yeah, like, yeah. So, so that, beach, that beach front I think a lot of them have clocked, you know what? The problem with Dubai is you could buy a house in Dubai and you can live on the beach. Yeah. But which beach? Two years later. You live three miles from the beach because <laughs> they moved. They built. Yeah. They moved it that way. That's you know how terrified they. No, but, but you know why though? You can it's spend they beach can't move money, that way, and they just built. No, they but they can't, they can't, they can't they move they that way. They, they, they won't build that way. They build the other way. No, even the other way is still they're expanding. Have you seen the new yeah, palm? Man. New palm that they're building. <clears throat> but it's like times five the current palm oh, and the current palm. We got a thing in here. Yeah, we got a anyway. The current palm. If you go from like the bottom to the top and go back round, because obviously you got to go up and then go round like this to go to like the other hotels. But that's like a half an hour drive. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. But that, no, but I'm saying so. Imagine thing, the next palm. That's five times bigger than this one. What are you gonna say? The one thing that surprised me at Kataka, I didn't really do research like that. When every time I got on Uber, I could be going from say like from Stratford to Barking. My Uber was one pound seventy six. Yeah, but that's two pound thirty. Yeah, that's where you are in Dubai. It's more expensive now, as in like, is the, it? yeah, the Ubers are not mad. I feel like a toll being next to Dubai though, from what I saw. Yeah, the no, Ubers, no, no, that's what it's one hundred percent. Because the Ubers like, a hundred. Mm, no, but like, Ubers ain't cheap in Dubai pound. though. Yeah, like, no, no, no. As in from the Durham. hundred Durham from oh. the airport to thing is like, like twenty minute journey. It's like a hundred. How much is a hundred Durham now? Yeah, what's that? I don't know. You know, you know like, how, what, what, my the, airport journey was like a hundred, eight pounds. A hundred Durham is about. um Twenty pound, I think. Twenty five pound, twenty pound. I think my most expensive Uber trip was. So seven, everything's still cheap out there. Yeah. Yeah, because remember they ain't clocked on yet. But, but the thing is, I think when when more, I remember as well. You're forgetting a lot of these nations, yeah. Twenty two pound hundred dirham currently. Yeah, see, the the thing is with a lot of these nations is remember in terms of the UK or America, or whatever they're trying to grab money from people. Them countries, they don't need your money because mm. the, the oil money they have, they just want the revenue. They want people is, to is start it, is coming. It's, you know not, it's not oil over there that they. Do you they think do. I know about all that stuff? Oh no, it's not. I think it's natural gas. Whatever, it, whatever yeah. it is, they have. They have money over that's there. That's their. That, that's their thing. And that's, they fund a lot of other countries. I'm here. They fund yeah. a lot of stuff you know here. Know much, apparently, you know how much bread they're making? Mm. The Qataris. Yeah. The Qataris are. That's what I'm saying. So, so they, remember, they don't need money from a, a tax or a taxi or yeah. whatever. They don't care about that. We want. More oh, yeah. over Speak, here. Speaking of that, yeah, and last point, and we wrap up. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, like, listen, you see, you see, when you see when we're uh, um, preparing for this pod, yeah, I'm grabbing research everywhere. But when we come here, I don't, I forget all of them. But this is the last one. There's a new, there's a new rule that's coming into play, yeah, where uh, restaurants are going to get taxed for using single use plastic. <coughs> Oh, I saw no, this somewhere. Yeah. No, they're, ba- this. they're banning it. They're no, banning yeah, it. no, 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 no. But, uh, yeah. but, but what that means is if they invest in whatever the next best option is, they have to upsell their products. So right. we're going to get penalised. So you're saying like, Let when me, you're going to carry bro, that's, that's, it's going to It's not even hard. like you get penalised. No, but we, that's what it's going to feel like. All that happens is, you know what I mean? They, the government will put that price on me and I'll put that price on you. 
Yeah, but they're going to see it as a penis. That's what I'm mm. saying. It's not penalized. It just goes up. No, no, no. All no, I have no, to do no, is no, your I cocktail get, goes from... Every your year cocktail year goes... I don't even say single tax suit. Your cocktail goes from 16 pounds to 18 pounds. No, I know. And you don't even know why. But what I'm saying is your, the, the, the conversation in the group chat is going to be like, oh my God, you seen that place here? Yeah? So it used to be 16 pounds for a cocktail. Mm. It's not 80 bucks. I'm saying, so that's, that's what I'm yeah, trying to say. But everyone's crazy. doing it. It's not just one place. Like, Everyone, Brother. if you use that plastic, bro, look at service charge. It's up. Service charge. So, what are you used to who paying service charge? Every, you, you don't pay service charge. You you're, you're, so you I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, it's I promise you, I'm joking. I swear to God, I'm joking. <laughs> I, swear God, I, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm not one of them ones. What service did I receive? You see me? Excuse me. I will just. Pay. I don't like when people no, do not like the bill. No, I hear you. But I'm saying with service charge, some places are paying charging fifteen percent. No, big man thing though. I ain't paying fifteen percent. Wait, hold on. You don't check. Think about it. You don't check. I look on the bill, bro. No, but hold on. Arguing for arguing. For stuff on the bill is a bit embarrassing. No, I don't like it. I don't invite me. No, it, 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 I no if you're someone that's going to argue, but I beg you don't. I beg you don't like me, please. I would rather pay it now and never come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mm. I won't argue. I just won't ever come no, back. But I'm not if going I to, don't, if no, I'm but, not happy no, but, with But remember, I'm not going to no restaurant where I'm expecting like, the bill to be free bills and all of a sudden it's a bank. I'm not going to. No, no, no it yeah, won't yeah, be that, a bank. But no, no, I'm saying if you get bad service and let's say like the food was dead and then there was hair in your food, Bob, let's just pay and go. Mm. And I just or won't come back. Talk to my man. No, no, no you still gotta make a complaint. You, know? you still gotta brother. say something. I'm telling you, I'm not yeah, paying yeah, the service cool, charge. Yeah, yeah, cool, but don't embarrass me. I'm not, I'm not brother. If you said that's what you want to call it, but no, I'm no, not wait, paying depends. the service charge. No, no, but Marv, let's let's not do that. Because if you're on a date right now with a babes and the babes says there's a hair in my food, I'm gonna chat to the manager. Cool, but the way she chats to the manager is like she brings man to the side, just gives man a stern talking to. Why is she okay? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, no. Why would she? Why would she? No, let's say she wants to, and she's like, Marv, don't worry, I got this. Yeah. There's a difference between doing that and yeah. then doing, are you fucking taking if it is? No, but no one said that. I just no, said, that's I, what I'm saying. I, I, I so said, the, I no, said, I'm saying the bad up I hear you. Charge. I didn't say I'm going to shout. No, I know I'm saying I hear you about the service charge, but I'm saying I assume that when you're going to bad up someone with the receipt, you ain't, you ain't. No, the first thing that comes to mind is that extreme one. No, but you haven't yeah, got yeah. a bad, but I'm saying um, you don't have to bad anyone else up. I'm not bad anyone up. You just okay, what if say, you, okay, what if you get an attendant that's like, or oh, waitress that's, that's feeling froggy? That's fine, that's but I'm not paying it. Yeah. No, as in you're telling him, yo, like change the drinks. Like, no, nah, I'm not changing the drinks. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Do your job, bro. It's not your. It's not your. It's <laughs> what not do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean though? Like she ain't comprehending. Like what? You mean? what? <laughs> it's not your call though. No, I you're, know. You're as a waiter, do, no. if if the, if the manager comes yeah. and says no, that's different because that's your rank. Okay, but are you accepting I, that from the manager? No, but we'll still argue. But I can hear it. But a waiter can't tell <laughs> me still what it is. But yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming on. We appreciate that. Thank you for um, having me. Lovely. And yeah. Keith, what's the, um, obviously it's not on. What's the league, what's a decent incident at a table for you to come out from your restaurant and speak to the customer? They bought a, a bottle in of Petrus. That's five grand. Oh, so if it's like there's a hair in my cup and all that, you're like, yeah. No, no, no but see, the thing is for me, yeah, <laughs> no, as the owner. No, no, so.